the data shows the quality of fingerprints recorded as the ordinal variable on a scale of 1 to 5, recorded using three different lifting methods A, B and C at three different temperatures of 10, 20 and 30 degrees. The method N variable is just a numerically coded variable showing the three different lifting methods 1, 2 and 3 for methods A, B and C. We wish to display this data using different forms of graphical plots and we will start by using graphs and it is useful to use the legacy dialogues from which we can choose to use various box plots. We will use clustered box plots which we will then define. The variable that we're measuring is quality. The horizontal category axis will be defined by the method and we then will cluster the data according to the different temperatures. We will click OK. We then see the data grouped as three different methods A, B and C and within each method we have the different temperatures 10, 20 and 30 identified as blue, green and grey. This is a very useful description because it, it shows us generally that the quality of the fingerprints increases as we move from method A through method B to method C and that from this data it's very difficult to distinguish any consistent pattern due to the different temperatures. Another useful plot is the interactions plot and even though our data is ordinal data, the quality values, we can derive an interaction plot by going through the general linear model, univariate data, where the dependent variable is the quality, the fixed factors are the temperature and the method, and we can click on plots and we will put temperature on the horizontal axis and draw separate lines to indicate the different methods and we will add this plot, continue and then run the ANOVA calculation and we can now see an interaction plot between the temperature along the horizontal axis and its effect on the three methods identified by the three different lines A, B and C. In general we can see there is a difference in the recorded quality for the different methods. On the face of it method B shows a different reaction to temperature at the 30 degrees than, it, than methods A and C. But whether this difference is significant we are unable to tell from this graph.